welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be unboxing a Tinker Cray and this just got here in the mail today and I'm very excited to unbox it and to see what this month has in store for us. So if you are new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to do unboxings like we're doing today, to give you curriculum ideas, organizational ideas, and just for ways, ways for you to invite Christ into your homeschooling space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button and let's open this box. So it says it's a coin eating robot. There you go. Build an electric powered droid and explore conductivity. That sounds really cool, <laughs> actually. So when we open it up, this is what it looks like. It has the instructions on top and a few little pictures. So I don't know what this is. This was right on top. It says droopy robot arms. So I don't know if this is a troubleshooting guide or if this is something else. I'll have to let you know because I'm not really sure. And then we have our instructions right here, which always come in the blue print. Blue, yes, is that the right <laughs> format? I'm like, I don't know what I'm talking about. So I really love these. I love how they are formatted to kind of look like you're building something, an architect engineering thing. And then we have our little booklet that's going to talk to us more about robotics. And I guess I don't, usually that's the case. And then a coin wash. There you go. So that could be cool. And then we have some of our robot pieces. It looks like right here to put together. And then we have our batteries and some of our mechanic stuff, but there's also some like zip ties in the back of this as well. And then we have some other connectors. This is like metal copper back here with some connectors on this side and some more parts for a robot, I guess maybe his arms. That's kind of what it looks like. <laughs> this little lonely dowel it's all by itself outside of everything and then this cool looking piece i don't know what that is and then some more robot pieces these are all plastic looking i guess and that's what's in here so this sounds really exciting i'm excited for it <laughs> and we'll see if it actually eats coins and so i'm gonna let him get at it and we'll let you know how it goes <laughs> crate and it was a lot of fun. I feel like he needed a lot more help on this one. So let me just hold it up so you can see. So this is our little coin eating creature <laughs> robot. And so there's a lot of zip ties. You can see right here if that'll focus. There's a zip tie right there and on all the little hands and inside we use zip ties as well. So you had to kind of maneuver them into small spots which was slightly difficult for me. So it was really hard for him to get them where they were supposed to be. So he required some more help on this. A lot of times he just flies through and reads the instructions and does it all himself, but this one required some more help. And so another thing is this thing sometimes works the right way and sometimes it doesn't. So in the instructions, they give you lots of troubleshooting ideas right here, which I guess shows that it might need some help. <laughs> so here's a whole bunch of troubleshooting ideas here, depending on what you're struggling with or if his arms are down lower, it tells you how some ways you can get them up higher. My husband played with it for a long time to get them where they're supposed to be. And then it also, this is one of the things that shows kind of where to put the arms if they're down. So there was several like troubleshooting things in here to help you out, but I still feel like it was kind of difficult to get it to work consistently right. I think we got it to work one time really well while we were filming it. So, but other than that, it it was a little bit of a struggle. And part of the struggle is back here, there's this 
brad is that what they're called the brad and so it's not touching super well to the one behind it that's what completes the circuit and so sometimes his head gets stuck up and so then you have to have these you have to push on them or get them to touch so that it will go back down so let me just show you it came with this little coin right here that you can use but it, you can also use like pennies and stuff so you put it on the little tray right here and then you can turn it on and we'll see oh there he goes oh <laughs> it almost got into his mouth <laughs> and then it fell on the floor so uh, this is what happens sometimes it gets stuck up here and so then you have to play with this and then it might get stuck on its eyeballs and then it'll close so the idea of it is really cool and the idea that it's like completing these circuits and it kind of shows how circuitry works but there's some things about it that don't work so well so we still enjoyed it and had fun but you just will have to play for it play with it a long time maybe to get it to work the right way and then it won't keep working the right way after that so just a few heads up on this but it was a lot of fun i think it's super cute it was been sitting on our kitchen counter and i look over and it's like oh it's this cute little robot so i think it's really cute but those are just some things to note about that and then there's also some other fun activities in here you can make this little coin sorter you can use the box with for it or if you have your own cardboard so you can make your own little like coin sorter and it shows you instructions for that so i thought that was cool and then there's another experiment in here this coin wash thing that suggests different liquids you could try cleaning coins in and see which one cleans it the best so if you wanted to do some little science experiments with this crate that would be a lot of fun as well so overall i think we enjoyed the crate it was a little bit harder you did have to tinker with it a lot more to get it to work and so i'm excited to see what next month brings and i'm ex and i know mazer is excited as well so if you like seeing these videos please give us a thumbs up and we will see you next time